Hi. We're gonna go get myself ready. But before I forget, actually I showered this morning and I've dried my hair. And I actually don't do that very often. But I'm gonna straighten my hair in just a second. But I wanted to explain um, Ashley's cheer. I forgot to get back on last night. I came home and I was done. I got into bed and I was done. I had also had it with my kids and my husband. So. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me just kind of explain really quick. Actually, let's go upstairs. I'll start to straighten my hair so I look a little bit better for you guys. And I'll explain um, the situation with her cheer squad because it's, it needs an explanation because it, it just does. Okay, we're going to get ready too. We're actually putting makeup on. We're doing my hair today. I am going Christmas shopping. I don't know why I'm so excited. I think I might need to get a few more things for one of my children. I don't know. I need to I need to quickly go through and separate a final separation of all the gifts for all the kids. I'm waiting for Chelsea to go to school. Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing my whole head face. So hang on. I gotta take that off. <laughs> I'm usually just doing my eyes. So let me just explain um Ashley's cheer thing. So if you noticed in the first little clip dance they're not, they're, they're pretending like they're holding someone up when they have all three lined up. Ashley was in the back as one of the holders. That's how they're going to do it during the performance. Uh, not, not during um, like game performances, but during the competition. So our, our coach is actually on the cheer coach board committee or whatever. I don't know. I don't, this whole like cheer thing is like new to me, but apparently she has been on the board of some committee for all like the different cities that this is for. And she's been on that board for 20 years, probably even more than 20 years before she even had sons that were on the squad, probably before she was even married to her current husband. <laughs> Anyway, um, they told her at their last board meeting that they had a new age limit that they were impl implementing and that new age limit was nine for this year and 10 for next year. Problem with that is they have a seven year old on their squad for the competitive squad and they are being a stickler for the competition this year that that seven year old can't compete and she's probably one of their best. I mean, they all say it, even the girls who are seniors and leaving the nest, they're leaving the squad this year, this is her last year, they all say she's one of the best. She's so good, but competition says she can't compete. And so she can do all the other performances and games and things like that, but um, cause it still aligns with the community center, you know, guidelines or whatever, just to be on the squad. Um, so at competition, they can't have her there, um, but they need to showcase the other positions that the other girls have. And so they just are going to pretend like she's not there and they probably will get dinged points for not having her, you know, not having that position filled. But technically there's probably not <laughs> another squad in their category. So they're not actually competing against anyone else. We all found out this last night, the coach found out this week. So it's all pretty unfortunate. So we're all going to this competition with this mindset of we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna show the girls teamwork. We're gonna show the girls that we're still gonna go. We're gonna get first place because we're the only ones competing against ourselves. <laughs> and it just is gonna show um, some dedication and like that we stand by this girl being on our squad. We will show an empty spot in honor of her not being able to compete with us. I don't know if she's gonna go to the actual competition or not, just to watch. That's up to her and her parents. It's just all unfortunate. It also um, puts all of our competitions in the future, at least in the next three years, um, at risk because this girl is so good. Like she's in it to stay in it and yet she's only seven. So I don't know. I don't know what that all means or if, hang on. <laughs> okay, had to sneeze and go get my sponge wet and turn my iron on so I can do my hair. So the other issue we have without divulging some private information is that our coach's son, who is on the squad, has some pretty major medical issues that they just discovered. So he's at risk for not even being able to compete on Saturday. They're hoping he can. They're hoping they don't have to do anything about the issue until 
later after the competition. It also puts him at risk for Japan, which I think she's just booked all of her flights. Japan, we are trying to gear up, book our trip. Anyway, life throws you curveballs. So you just have to like go with the flow. But that was just kind of an explanation about why there is a blank space in their routine. They do have that Barbie theme. You saw their new t-shirts that they're wearing. The girls said, hi Barbie. And the boys, they showed at the very end, they lifted up their I am Knuff t-shirts as part of their routine. They mainly are wearing those t-shirts over their, like their, I wanna call it a jersey. I don't remember what the name of their outfits are. To keep them clean when we go to competitions, where they're gonna wear the t-shirt over to the top of it so it doesn't get dirty as you're traveling and waiting at the competition and then um, take the t-shirt off and wear the uniform to perform in. So they're just kind of fun t-shirts that the coach found and everyone got one yesterday. So that was kind of fun, but their dance does have a Barbie theme and the, you can't hear it, but it is a sped up version of the Barbie song from the movie. So, all right, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then, um, I think I'm ready to go to Target and do some Christmas shopping. No, I gotta go and sort. I'm gonna quickly, so I've already sorted some, but I've also bought some more. So I think I've, I think I've overstacked two people. <laughs> I don't necessarily need it to be even like dollar amount wise, but one person's, it's just gonna, it's just, I want it to look even and like feel even. If you're a mom, you know what I mean. Jason will be like, you've already spent the money, you've already done it, you've already checked the list off, it's all done. I know the look from my children because I've gotten it before and I've also felt it as a child. When you realize you got jit, and I don't like that feeling and I don't like my kids, I don't like seeing that look. I don't like seeing that look. I know that these are all gifts, I know that these are all extra things, but my kids only get extra things like this at Christmas and their birthdays. We don't spoil them. So I like to spoil them these two times a year that they deserve to be spoiled. Right, I've been out running errands, struck out at the dollar store, trying to find a certain something for my kids' stockings. I'm gonna have to go over here. But I just got my mail at the post office, so thank you to Lydia for sending Abby a card. I will not open that, that is for her. Also for Abby from Jennifer Bach, thank you for your card. I will obviously let her open that one. Patty, hi. This is for me to open, our family. Oh, care of Abby, that is Abby's. So I will let her open that one. And there is something about like opening the envelope, so I'm gonna let her do that. And then it looks like I got Christmas cards from um, Pamela and the Hensons. So I'm gonna open these up for you guys here. This one is from Pam. These are like, I guys, I know you guys, like you guys comment. Oh, that's really cute. It's gonna look so cute on my little card wall. I'll show you when I get home. There, It's working so well, so it's working good so far. I'm, I'm bound to get lots more Christmas cards, but so far it's working and holding up. Um, may the gifts of Christmas bring you happy moments. Thank you for sharing your family with the world. Merry Christmas, Pam. Thank you very much. We'll put that on our wall. So then this one is from the Hensons. Oh, so I think, I know where you live and I feel so bad that when we were in this city <laughs> on our road trip, was it last summer? No, yeah, not this, not this past summer, but last summer, that we didn't remember that you lived there and we totally had time to like reach out to you <laughs> and meet with you. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. This is from Lori, all my fellow Hawaiians. Oh my gosh, this might actually stay on my, like in my office year round because you guys know how much like this scene, this kind of scene brings peace to me. Merry Christmas to Dana and family. I took this of Hanalea Bay in April. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas from Lori. Yep, that that is my happy place. Um, and then those ones are for Abby. So thank you for your cards. They'll go up on our wall. And then I will give Abby's to her. Oh, I have one more. I'll give Abby's to her when she gets home. Oh, this is from Cindy Harris and her husband. Well, probably more likely just from Cindy. <laughs> um, oh, this one is cute. I think you are, you make these. Maybe you make these. Yeah, I'm betting you did. Look at how amazing that is, you guys. And it's like 3D. It's like there's multiple layers to this thing. That is stunning. Oh, and the door opens, you guys. That is so stinking cute. Yeah, that's going on our well. Warm wishes from our home to yours, Michael and Cindy Harris, AKA the scrapbooking mama. If you couldn't tell, couldn't tell from her utter talent. Okay, 
So we've got that checked off of our list. We are heading to Target. Um, I'm gonna leave these ones here. Um, I've got my cute recycle bags and my one, my kids now know this is the bag for all the stuff they cannot look at. It says, well, they just know this naughty bag is the one that they can't look into if I bring it home, especially because I have older girls that are, are at home during the day. Um, I can't sneak stuff away from them as often because if I walk in to the house, they could both be sitting there. So I'm also on a hunt at Target to get Abby some soft foods. We currently have applesauce, yogurt, gogurt, jello, pudding. She actually, ma Ashley made a jello for her the other day. So that's in the outside fridge, but we need some more calories. So she said she was willing to try some creamy soups, which honestly the only soup she likes is ramen and chicken noodle soup, but she wants to feel fuller and get some more calories in. So she's willing to try something, but more than anything, she just wants more of a variety. Okay, I got a few new things for Abby to try. Well, I got my regular Fair, fair Life. And then I got this V8 um, blueberry pomegranate, I think. Yeah, just a different drink. And then I got her, um, I know it's Nutella, but it's uh, car salted caramel flavored cocoa. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna let her take this up to her bedroom with a spoon or a box of like plastic spoons. And she can just have little nibbles of that and let it melt in her mouth. And that will feel like a treat to her, but it's also probably got some protein in it. So we'll try that. I got propel drinks for Ashley for cheer tomorrow. Costco isn't selling them anymore. So um, I got lotion for Abby for right now. Cool Whip pepperonis for Chelsea, me and Jason. I got these to try for Abby because these I hope dissolve really fast on your tongue and they're really small. So I'm thinking she can slip these into her mouth and then like it will melt. And then I got, I know I can make her mashed potatoes, but I want her to have it whenever she wants to have them. Um, and so I got these to try. And then if she wants them more often, either I'll make a big batch of mashed potatoes or I'll get more bags of these and then she can just have them whenever she's hungry. Um, and uh, speaking of hungry, don't come when you're hungry because that happens. I got more ramen and that is Christmas. I think that's all that's down here. Yeah, everything else up here is for Christmas. It doesn't look very much, but when you're, I'll just show you one thing. When you have teenagers and you're buying little things like this, it actually adds up pretty quickly. So even though there's little things and you can't see that there's very much, there's probably more dollar wise in that section than there is in this whole section. Okay, back at home, just gave Abby the cards. I'm really glad that you guys put like your YouTube like tag name on your cards because I didn't know who Jennifer Box was until you wrote on the card, hashtag number one mama, or I guess it would be number one mama. Um, but thank you to Jennifer, thank you to Lydia, and thank you to Patty for your gift cards and your notes. Abby literally read through the whole note, like before she would even talk to me, before she would even open the next card. So thank you, that means a lot to her. Um, and when she's feeling better, she can go and get her own treats. Um, but right now she's in bed. We're not having her drive anywhere <laughs> anytime soon. But I wanna show you my cute little card display that I've got so far. I've actually gotten more cards from you guys <laughs> than I have from my own friends and family. Legit, like legit. More from you guys. So that's telling. So I just have this little garland um, hooked up here on my wall. These little cute little gingerbread guys. I usually have this gingerbread garland um, hung up, hung up across there, but I thought, you know what, these little clippies are perfect to hang cards on, and they're and they're holding. Um, we'll see if it manages many more cards, but if you can see your card here, you can leave a comment below. We know who that one is, Scrapbook Mama. That's my friend, Jason's friend from college, my friend too. Um, that's my cousin. That is Minnie um, from our channel, and these cards are from you guys. That's a friend back home. And of course, we just opened that one as well. So, thank you for building our little supply, one card at a time. I get a whopping of one hour. 
Can I see the video that you took? Yeah, you can. Because I need to add music to it and take out the Barbie music. I know. It's no, unfortunate that they can't. Musical. Huh? I have to find music, what so. About this part? No, I can just, I'll just add music to it, but it doesn't well, have we'll music in it. it. We'll get at the end because they go. Right. They have to just think in their mind what does the Barbie song sound just... like. Okay, well, we'll see if they get it. I don't know if I fully get it. To be honest. How? Because this in the Dance the Night one, it goes. Yeah, I get that. Because they go, and it changes music. Oh, okay. And then it goes. Okay, well, I, I don't know. All right, well, anyway, I got to unload the groceries in here. Um, I've hidden the gifts. And I told the lady at Target today, I was like, this is my last time at Target. And she literally just laughed at me. And she's like, Dana, it's not your, yes, you can have one of those. She said, this is not your last time at Target she before Christmas. She <laughs> well, yeah, because I talk to her every time I go. I was like, no, this is the last time buying Christmas presents. I will buy food and groceries and drinks and whatnot, but I will not buy any more Christmas. All right, I forgot to tell you, I was coming to a, um, party for church tonight I'm trying to figure out how to turn off or turn down this it's not so noisy in here um, it was just a church party a Christmas party for all the women and um, it was very very nice so I'm going to head home and hopefully Ashley is gearing up for bed <laughs> I, just, I hope she is um, had a good successful day got a lot accomplished and I'm excited to get everything wrapped up in the next well get it ready tomorrow and get ready for Christmas um, for the kids to be home really it's only Ashley and Chelsea um, that are gonna be added to the mix um, but tonight was really really fun and um, I'll end with a cute you can see what the decorations look like um, and we got this cute little crystal um, decoration to remember to see the light and um, I'm excited to actually hang that sorry pump I knew that was coming I'm gonna hang it on the Christmas tree um, and let it reflect the refract I should say the light from the lights and then I'm actually gonna put it by um, my mom and Jason's mom's picture and keep it on the shelf to remember them by so I hope you guys are having a good holiday season um, and that you're doing well. Thank you for all your messages. Thank you for your cards sent to Abby and to us as a family. Um, it means a lot and I think Abby is starting to understand um, how many people are actually like concerned about her and care for her and are thinking of her. She's starting to read these cards from you guys and I don't know that she's she might have started to read some of the messages on my videos. Um, and she's starting to understand. Um, also, she watched her surgery video uh, for the first time yesterday. And I don't know, she was really quiet and I was worried that she wouldn't. Normally I have, if she's in a video, I have her kind of preview it, make sure she approves of it. Um, but with the surgery one, she wasn't really coherent for a couple days and and also told me yesterday she wasn't ready until yesterday to even watch any clip of the surgery process, even though she knew I wasn't filming her specifically. Um, she wasn't ready to like see it and, and, and experience it again, even if it's from my perspective. But in a lot of ways, I think um, you know, cause I, I think she kind of gets embarrassed to like watch videos where I'm kind of talking and especially if it's about her. And so it got to a point in the video of her surgery day where, you know, Jason and I were talking or I was crying or whatever. And I kept telling her, I'm like, you can, you can skip past this. I don't, I don't mind. I'm not going to be offended if you don't want to listen to it. And she didn't. And. I think it was helpful for her to see that we cared. Not that 
I don't think she doesn't think that, but I think sometimes kids think that we're just kind of, I don't know, cold-hearted people and <laughs> don't have feelings and I don't know. I don't know what she thinks, but um, I think it was a healing thing for her to watch the video and to re-experience the surgery from my perspective. And um, I don't know that she'll watch the other videos, um, but um, I don't know. It was just a good thing. So thank you for your thoughts for her. She is recovering quite well and will continue to do so through the holidays. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna close with you guys tonight and we'll see you guys next time.